What is up? Welcome to another episode of Maximilian Must Know. This gonna, is going to be another Scent Safari episode. Today we're looking at a smaller house out there, indie house that I really am impressed with called Jolie Le. Like now I'm sure I'm fucking that French pronunciation up. I'm doing my best with it. Before we talk about this house though, I just wanna just sort of say something about my channel because I've been getting some inquisitions recently. Um, so if you see, I do my weekly fragrance reviews and there's a good chance you're gonna see designer scents there, indie scents, niche scents, all kind of fragrances. But what I'm really interested in my channel to be in general is a platform for smaller houses to get their product out there that aren't being covered by the fragrance community at large. Guys, that's not to say I'm never gonna review another YSL Loam Flanker. Probably will happen. But I'm way more interested in houses like this where an individual is working really hard to give you great fragrance at a wallet-friendly price and fragrances that aren't going to get a million views because you know people are way more interested on the new armani code uh parfum version uh, fine that's great for everyone i'm interested in that fragrance too i want to smell it maybe i'll talk about it on my channel but these are the houses that i really want to cover so if you're interested in that i'm so happy to have you uh, at my channel if you're more interested in checking those kind of fragrances out we might get to them guys but there's a lot of other reviewers that are probably going to serve your needs a little bit better uh, than myself because I'm more interested in exploring smaller houses um, where perfumers are, are being daring and different and uh, want you to buy their fragrances so quick quick just a little uh, <laughs> you know, FYI if you're interested. So anyway, this is another West Coast indie house that's, I feel like getting a lot of love if you're paying attention. It's gathered some real hype behind it. Uh, I was super excited to, to get my nose on these. You know, I've read what Luca Turin uh, said about these. He, he is someone that I do follow. I don't uh, follow a lot of perfume blogs out there, but uh, there, there are a few that I listen to. And when Luca Turin talks about a fragrance in a positive light, I do t tend to reach out to, to the house. Uh, this is a natural perfume house that was started in San Francisco uh, a couple, a few years ago by a uh, graphic designer named Heather Kaufman. Heather studied natural perfumery under Mandy Aftel for several years in Seattle, Washington before launching this brand. Of course, you guys know Mandy Aftel, uh, you know, great, great perfumer with a, a, a very well-respected line um, that, that does really well. Here's a quick quote from Heather about her sins. Uh, Jolie Lead is a botanical perfume line that embraces the intricacies of nature. A French phrase meaning unconventional beauty, our perfume combines natural scents that are both luscious and odd. You won't end up smelling like anyone else. The complexities found in natural ingredients are far greater than in synthetic ingredients. Uh, Jolie Lee perfumes are made with only botanical ingredients and handmade in small batches, ensuring that they are made beautiful naturally. These scents work with your body's chemistry and the scents become your personal statement, end quote. Now guys, these are available on the Etsy store, which I'm going to link to in the description prices. Uh, I'm going to link to in the description, by the way. Guys, don't sleep on Etsy perfumers because as of recent, if you've seen this channel, I've gone through a lot of brands and they're fucking killing it. Um, so Etsy to me is like the hot spot to get indie fragrances, at, at, at least in my exploration at this at this point. Prices on this line tend to hover between $85 and $125, depending on scent and, and or concentration. And these are either eau de parfum or just straight parfum in strength. So we're going to go four, through four. The first one I wanna say, first thing I wanna say is I hate roller bowls. 
you guys know that but these are the best roller bowls i've ever used in my life and i actually really enjoyed using these as you can see they're metal um these are little metal roller balls so you really sort of feel like i feel like um you know how much you're applying to your skin you can feel it sometimes with plastic ones it's hard to know if you're actually getting anything on your skin sometimes because these metal ones are naturally a little bit cooler i feel like you do feel the fragrance being applied and these are really beautifully labeled by heather so this is an a plus for presentation for me and uh, came in this really cool box with a little pamphlet so uh, i just thought it was really cute and really well done so we're going to talk about four of these. You guys know I pick four when we do Scent Safari. The first one, Abu de Soufflé. Uh, this one translates to breathless. And the notes on this one, amber, cloves, myrrh, bergamot, and lavender. 15 ml EDP is $75 or 15 ml parfum is 110 and this is a really nice fragrance. I am a big fan of licorice and I get a big dose here. Uh, I get a big dose of three notes, licorice, lavender, and amber. Um, it's almost gourmand for me. If that lavender wasn't there to sort of impart this green purple herbalness to this one, I'd consider this one a super gourmand. Instead it falls a little bit short of that, really nice has a barbershop wispiness but stops from being too masculine just really nice and well done the longer this one sits on your skin the licorice and lavender are going to mingle on top of that beautiful amber base anyone who likes either of those two notes licorice lavender really needs to check this one out it has a chewy tangible woodiness um, you know, I used to go to Chelsea Market, for those of you who aren't in New York, is just for me one of my favorite food places in New York to just go and, and go through different markets. Uh, actually have my first mir Miracle Berries there. Miracle Berries, for those of you who don't know, is a berry you chew and it makes things that are sour turn sweet. So you could take a Miracle Berry, coat your tongue in it, and you eat a lemon and it makes a lemon taste like an orange. Anyway, so, um, but at Chelsea Market, you know, there was this Italian, there is, still is this Italian market where they have these anise chew sticks. So they're le they're wooden and you get them and you just can chew on them and they're, have, they're wood, they're made out of wood and they are anise flavored and this really reminds me of that. So it was very nostalgic for me and I really enjoyed this one. The next one we're going to talk about is called Baze. Uh, Basse Volé, uh, Stolen Kisses. Notes on this one are bergamot, jasmine, myrrh, and white florals. 15 ml, this one's $75. 50 ml uh, parfum, $125. I'm sorry, 15 ml parfum is $75, or 50 ml EDP is $125. And really like this one. It might seem crazy, but the combination of the twist of citrus with the florals and resins reminds me of a very high-end cola. Uh, Curiosity Cola by Fentimins, I think is the best cola soda in the world. It's an English brand and it's made from roots and extracts. Um, it reminds me a lot of that. It's tart, resinous, and clean. The notes here have an amazing clarity. And even though the blending here is superb, um, the notes do pop and they're distinguishable. You can tell the materials used here are natural and of the highest quality. Uh, really nice floral spicy fragrance. The next one is called Bende Par. Uh, this one translates to keeping to himself and I love this one. I think I might get the name of this one. The notes first though, just so you know, are Hyrax, Ambret, Osmanthus, and Oud. And so it's a little dirty and funky and that's why I think someone who wears this may be keeping to themselves. Uh, Eighty-five dollars for fifteen ml uh, Eau de Parfum is the only one I see available at this point. And uh, there's a fragrance I have called Alcott by Zerja from the Oud Stars line. That's Oud and Jasmine mainly. And uh, if and it's grown on me. At first, I didn't really like it. I thought it smelled a little bit like a dirty diaper, and it sort of really reminds me of a more a uh, concentrated version of um, Alien by Terry Mugler. If you replace the Jasmine from Alcott with Osmanthus, that is what this fragrance is for me. It is amazing. This is an amazing, amazing fragrance. It's a work of art. It's sexy. It's animalic. It's feral, uh, but it's smooth. Barnyard 
it has a little bit of fecal note to it but if your fragrance journey if on your fragrance journey you sort of evolved to appreciate leather oud by dior and the oud stars line you'll love this and guys just so you know i'm not so hardcore that i love care to air be by montal that's a little still too much for me but this perfectly straddles the animalic funky wearable uh, line and uh, I love this Heather you did a, a amazing job with this scent you know Renee Zayas check this one out Mickers Dan Mickers check this one out these are both off the hook I mean this fragrance is off the hook I'm sorry you guys will both think this is off the hook the last one we're going to talk about is called Jewels at Gem and uh, notes on this one are coumarin oak moss lavender bergamot and tonka 15 ml EDP spray $75 or 15 ml per parfum $110. You know, of the four, I'd say this is the most wearable by men and women. Uh, probably going to be the biggest people pleaser. Perfectly unisex. So I think that's where the name comes from a female and a male. Uh, I get lots of oak moss in this one. This is a big time oak moss scent for me. But there's lavender, there's bergamot, and there's vanilla. So basically, what you would expect. It's got a bit of a barbershop vibe, vibe to it. It, but I still think it's wearable by women. Nice, just really nice, really natural smelling, good performer, simple compared to some of the other scents that I've smelled uh, from Heather. Uh, I feel like I have scents like this one, so I don't know that I want to pick this one up, or if I'm telling you, I don't know, this is the one maybe you would want to pick up, but it's really nice nonetheless. And it to me, it's like the Swiss Army knife of, knife of her line, of her line. In terms of who could use it when they could use it and uh, and where they could use it so guys i really i'm not going to tell you go buy this go buy this go buy this from heather i think you need to sample these before you make decisions uh, you know i mean um when you're buying fragrances that you know are, are this concentrated um, and, it, and at this price point, but I do know that for forty dollars you can get these seven cents, and that is a fucking sick deal, because these last forever. And not only that, but these are each only one ml, but it feels like so much more because of the high concentration and the way you apply these. I think you can get four or five wearings out of each one of these bottles, and when you put that to seven cents, you're talking about thirty you know, wearings. And if you put this in your rotation, I mean, guys, this is a great deal. Natural perfumes made it extremely high quality uh, and extremely high concentration. So I'm really, feel really stoked to, uh, to be able to check these out. Heather, thank you so much. Uh, I recommend you guys check this line out. And if you have, please let me know what you think. Uh, and which one of these do you think might be best up your alley? I'd love to know that as well. I'll see you again with more of these videos. Oh, yes, the tape popped here. You know, part of doing uh, live reviews. But uh, I come in a nice little cardboard box as well. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a thank you much for send. Thank you so much for sending these to me. And obviously, I am Maximilian, and I must know. Peace, guys.